what's going on guys and welcome to your 20th HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial let's learn about classes and IDs in HTML so I guess it's the right time to introduce you guys to classes and IDs and what they are in HTML and how to make them work with CSS so till now we have only be creating some elements like div like your div span p uh, your heading elements h1 h2 h3 and all that stuff so what we are doing is we are just creating a bunch of common elements so at that let's say if I have first uh, let's say a couple of sentences down here so what we're doing is we are selecting when we do in CSS the div so we are applying these styles to both of these divs and uh, that kind of makes it a rough choice because we don't have much control in our hands what to customize and what to leave so we have classes and IDs in HTML and I can say to you that every attribute oh sorry uh, every element or tag in HTML has an attribute called class and has an attribute called ID and obviously these are not mandatory but if you are doing with CSS and JavaScript then these are these play very important role for distinguishing between similar elements so for example let's say I want to give something to only some customizations to only this div so what I'll do is I'll add a attribute called class diff class inside quotation marks I would write the name of this class and uh, this could be pretty much anything but remember that it should always start with the alphabet uh, no matter its capital or small and should never start with a number so it should be only start uh, with uh, alphabets from A to Z and uh, nothing from like a special symbol or I guess underscores are allowed but I would just recommend you to go with alphabets and then include some numbers because that's the best practice to do but it's up to you what you want to do so let's name it div class as my div simple enough and uh, let's copy this and now right here let's say dot my div uh, and now okay so when you want to select an element in CSS what you do is you write the name of that element as it is but when we uh, apply the class to this element then to make CSS understand that this is not a element but a class of any element we make use of this period right here which is a dot so this dot tells uh, CSS that your this my div is not a kind of like this element but it's a class applied to any of these elements and to be more precise if you have say span class my div so now what's happening here is with this my div we are selecting all the classes all the elements which have the class as my div so now let's see let's give it a color of orange why not now let's reload this and as you can see one two the first one and two get a color of orange and the third one remains black which is the default browser color and this is because these two have a class my div and uh, let's say if I want to apply this color orange CSS only to those elements whose tag name is div and class is my div so what I'll do is before this period I would write the name of this element so now what happens is CSS is telling HTML okay so uh, I've got this instruction from the developer that use the tag name as div 
and this is a class since this is a class so tag name and class are separated by a period or a dot and then use this class name which is my div so now this literally means that apply the CSS only which has the class as my div and the element name which is the tag name as div so now what would happen is since this has also my div class but the name of the element is span instead of div so your C or your HTML your DOM API would ignore this element and would only apply CSS to this one so now let's reload this let's see what happens so here you have only one is covered with orange now okay so that's about being classes and using classes we can save a bunch of code like uh, you want to uh, apply the same style to some span as well let's remove this and let's say you want to apply the same styles to p as well and let's say you want to apply the same styles to h1 as well and h2 as well h3 as well and all the way down to a long list so what you'll do is you'll just apply a class my div to each of these elements uh, you can pretty much copy and paste it like this and you could customize this only one time by using dot my div which would apply to all the elements across your page to apply these styles so this saves us a bunch of code because instead of writing like p div h1 h2 h3 and all that stuff first of all we are narrowing our search results and we are applying these styles to only selective elements we want to have those styles so any element which do not have this class my div would not be styled by the styles down here so that's about classes and now let's come to IDs so now you have seen that classes can be used with multiple elements or with same elements multiple times so for example this code right here is completely valid but IDs basically make it kind of restrictive to only one element and by that what I mean is that classes can be used across various elements or in the same element uh, which is repeating multiple times but ID is kind of unique to a particular element so it is like a kind of identity of an element which cannot be changed and basically it cannot be used with some other element as well as per the standard now what does that mean by that is I'll show you let's say if I have an ID uh, my property this is only my and let's say I have span ID with the same my property this is only my the span version let's close the span so when you style this like okay so okay so let's remove it first I'll explain you how to use IDs so just like we used a period to denote a class instead of a normal element we make use of the hash symbol above your three key in your keyboard to denote an ID so an ID is hash followed by the ID name which in this case is my property then curly braces and the usual code begins so that's how you apply styles to an ID remember hash my property which is the ID name of your element and your code inside it so I was talking about creating a similar ID for two elements which is absolutely against the API and the documentation but let's see what happens actually mine and uh, let's give it a span so that we can understand this is span and we have my property as color green so now let's reload this and as you can see th 
these two appear green but why is that I told you that you could use an ID with only one element so though it applies CSS to these two elements as well still this syntax is completely incorrect so never ever apply one ID to two elements so the reason I showed you this is because HTML is a markup language HTML and CSS are markup language which are used to display and basically present your site to your users so just uh, like some other language like C++ or C HTML and CSS would never ever throw any error on your document no matter how bad your document structure is or how bad your syntax is so whatever you do in this HTML document that would uh, kind of browser would try to understand it itself and in the worst case it would display the wrong output but would never display any error message for example in this case HTML the Chrome API being lenient it uh, applied the style color green to elements having same ID but when you are working with JavaScript then this thing this baby right here would surely throw a big bomb error that how the heck are you using one ID on two elements so always remember that IDs are very really special and unique to only one element and the main use of IDs is like for example if you are creating a kind of website and you want to have a header so you'll do div ID header and since your website would have only one header which is at the top so you can use kind of ID to make it easier to remember and since it's only one header so we can use make use of ID so in future when we are working with dynamic languages like JavaScript and your PHP DOM parser so when we grab this so it's easier for us to uh, I guess grab the details and information about this header so instead of just using class which would kind of promote it as a sing uh, multiple element copies we would make use of ID so right here my property or basically it should be header now header div hash header will literally mean the same one and the same thing so whatever we do to this like if I copy this to here then this would also apply to header so when we are applying styles dynamically to dynamically generated elements and we have only access to the ID attribute and we don't know what the element name is so we usually ignore this option and just use the header uh, just like the starting hash and header so that's basically how you work with IDs and classes in JavaScript and oh sorry I guess I said JavaScript right now and the reason being I'm kind of creating JavaScript tutorials as well these days but never mind so yeah so I was telling you that always remember the usage of classes and IDs in your HTML and CSS code because this would help you a lot in the JavaScript tutorial playlist and would also help you to keep your document clean and kind of optimized for browsers as well so that's all for CSS uh, uh, classes and IDs and I'll see you then in the next tutorial with some awesome CSS tutorial stuff where we'll be discussing about I guess properties and their values in CSS. So I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video.